Hey everybody, how are you today? <laughs> Ugh, it's been a weird week. It's been a crazy day. I started off the day by going to the gym, which was a good thing, but then realizing that I'd forgotten to take my medicine like last night. Although being with pill pack helps, uh, because it helped me confirm when I got home from the gym that I indeed did not take my medicine last night. When you have a stressful day and you have anxiety disorder, despite pill pack, you still forget. That's what happens. So now I just feel off. You guys have that? All right. So I've got some happy mail here. I also have a letter journal that came home. And I have one I have to work on. Diane. I think it's yours. Yeah. I'm going to try to get it done before I go to Las Vegas. Otherwise, it's not going to get done until I get back. So I'll see what I can do. <laughs> um, and I don't want to show that on camera, but I've got to work on that. So mine came back, though, and this was a small group with just uh, myself, Diane Dodge, and Kelly Byrne. And um, I think they did a great job. So this is what the outside of my letter journal looks like. And this was a collaborative page. And I said to just add your favorite character. And I, I added her and, of course, the postcard kind of flip out thing with the feather. And then they added the bird and this with a quote on it. What does the quote say? It's Edgar Allan Poe. Those who dream by day are cognizant of many things which escape those who dream only by night. It's pretty profound. I like that. Okay. And then... This page is by Kelly. Kelly did this page. I love that. Great colors. And then I did this page. And this was another collaborative page, but I, which I asked them to add their favorite quote. So I um, put on here, everything happens for a reason. Um, Kelly put on here, be yourself, everyone else is taken by Oscar Wilde. And you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough, Mae West. I like that. And then um, Diane added, find your happily ever after. So that's a fun page. And then it's so funny, Diane did a really great page. I'm going to leave her note in here. I'm going to, I'll take it off so you guys can see the page, but I'm going to put it back because it's, it's, this is totally something I would do. Um, so this is the page and it says thrive every day and it's a beautiful page. The only problem is it's upside down. And she put a note in here, oops, sorry about it being upside down. So, <laughs> but that's very cute, Diane. I'm going to leave the note in there. I think that just gives it some character. So, I love that. And I'm going to put the uh, collaborative page post-it notes back in, too, for right now. And then um, Kelly added an extra card with a little note on it. Very sweet little note, an ATC size card, which is great. With, and I love that. That's so pretty. And I'm getting ready to do some stuff with my ATC rack. So I may just stick this on there. That would be great. I met with Kathy um, DeWalt of Kathy Rose Creations on Monday. Um, she and I and her sister were um, having a, sort of a breakfast brunch thing together. They were up here um, from Southern California going to the Gilroy Garlic Festival. And uh, they had a great time, and I met them on Monday. And she gave me a sweet little Happy Mail gift. And first of all, this is the en the envelope it came in. And isn't that pretty? With the napkin and the paint and the washi tape. Love that. And then she gave me one of her altered CDs, which is just beautiful. And I'm going to have to rearrange my bulletin board because I want to get it up there. And this is um, just a bag that she had some other things wrapped in, and I just didn't even have the heart to get rid of the bag because, you know, that butterfly and that washi tape is going to have to come off and go in a journal somewhere. Isn't it great? 
she made these two little cute notebooks for me, which I love, and they're made out of, the cover's made out of a toilet paper roll, and it's covered with paper, and it's sort of Midori style. Midori style? Yeah, Midori style, with, uh, that has, where the paper is held in with the elastic band. Um, and um, these are done with hair bands, and so, and I, I, you know, it's funny that she gave me these because I had just seen something about these on somebody's channel. It might have been Shannon Green's channel. I don't remember, but here's what the book looks like when it's closed. This is one of them, and the hairband is wrapped around the spine, and then she's taken some of the extra and tied it into a knot so that you can use it as a closure, and then it's just got some pages in here, just regular paper for pages, and it can just be used as a little address book or a little notebook or something. She's covered the cardboard for the cover with some um, woven, she's got some of her woven paper here on the outside and then some embossed paper on the inside. So cute. And she gave me two of them. The cover on this one says, Live Life to the Fullest. I love that. And this is the other one, which has got... Um, some painted um, te book text. It looks like it might be dictionary paper. And again, the closure is a hair tie with some little charms. And the inside is just filled with paper, all held in by the elastic band. I love this. It's such a cute idea. Um, Kathy, I might steal it. <laughs> guess it's not stealing if I tell you, is it? I might be inspired by this to do something soon because I've got some ideas. Um, and then she gave me this envelope, which is um, a handmade envelope made out of coffee filters. So first of all, look at the envelope. Is that just not the prettiest thing? I mean, and you guys should you hear that. You should just you should feel it. It just yeah. I don't even know what to tell you. It feels so great. And inside the envelope are all these little bits and pieces including some handmade flowers, which I love. And I have a decent collection of these now from you guys, and I've got to put them on a journal cover or something. I'm thinking I should cluster them all together and do something real cool with them. Here's another one. And she gave me an ATC card, which again, I've got to work on that ATC rack, so. Isn't that pretty? Didn't she do a great landscape there? I'd love it. And then she gave me some inchies. And you know, a while back I shared this um, inchy book that I got from Josie Gitto. Um, sorry, Josie Gitto. <laughs> I'm having an off day. I forgot to take my medicine last night. I didn't take it till first thing this morning and I feel better, but yeah, anyway. Um, so anyway, Josie gave me this a while back and some happy mail I got from her. And um, I happen to have a tray of inchies here and so I Immediately went and filled it up, but there's just enough room in the back to get the inchies Kathy gave me in here. So yay, am I happy. Um, but I'm going to have to make another one of these because now it's like full and, you know, <laughs> I like inchies. So Kathy gave me this, which is, it's like two and a half inchies. I don't know what you call it, but I'm going to put it in the inchy book. Isn't it cute? And then here are some inchies that she gave me. These are called inchies because they're one inch square. Doesn't that look, I know it's probably like an abstract, but doesn't it look like a little landscape? Can you see that? There you go. It's so cool. And then here's this one. And then this one is a little bit bigger than an inch. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get these in my inchy book. So that was cool, and what else? I'm furiously trying to get stuff done before I go on vacation. <laughs> videos filmed, videos loaded, so you guys are all set while I'm gone. Um, I do think if I can't manage to do it before I leave for vacation, then I'll definitely be doing it when we get back. Um, probably a more live Ustream, but definitely I'm thinking about doing some Google Hangouts, um, you know, where we get... I think you can have up to 10 people in the hangout and we just kind of chat about art and you guys can ask me questions and I can help you with stuff and you know we can just have a little you know coffee 
time with art friends, something like that. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Maybe if you guys have some ideas, you can help me out and give me a clue. Um, I was thinking maybe we would do that on like, oh, probably like Friday mornings, unless I have something else to do, you know, an appointment, but probably like Friday mornings or Wednesday mornings something like that so you guys let me know it would have to be in the morning my time the house is quiet um we could chat for about an hour or so and we I wouldn't have to worry about us being interrupted or anything like that um but you you guys let me know what you think of the idea <laughs> uh what else I'm soaking some stencils trying to get them a little bit clean We'll see. I'm not great about cleaning my stencils, so we'll see what happens. And I think that's it right now. I can't think of anything else. I'm making little changes to some of my videos. Um, you know, you've noticed the new intro, the new ending. I know most people are okay with it. Some people miss different parts of the intro, old intro. Um, I'm still working on it, so if you have something you like or don't like, leave me some constructive criticism. Don't be mean. <laughs> Let's not be mean. But if you have something that you like or don't like about the new stuff, let me know. Um, I have added copyright and, you know, legal disclaimers to the descriptions on all my videos. Um, uh, as my channel's growing, it's better to do it now than later when I, you know, I get in trouble from somebody for something. And I've added my contact information to all the descriptions. So um, that doesn't mean just my mailing address. My P.O. box is on there now, too. So if you guys have something you want to send me or you're a company with a product that you'd like me to look at, try, and review, um, you have my contact information in the description below. So uh, go ahead and look that up, and you can do that, no problem. I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. It could be just because I'm in a fog today. Because I took my medicine too late, see? Oh, no, there is one more thing. See? I put all these papers stuffed over here in my... Knocking computer parts over. I'll have to fish that out later. Um, all these bits and pieces on my desk. What's this one? That one. So I got a um, card a while back from Shannon Pratt from... Aunt Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And this I've actually had stuffed in my desk for a couple of days um, because um, I was waiting for something else to show up to do a video together. Um, she sent me this really cute handmade card. Look at that. With a very sweet note in it. And, um, and I, I love it. It's just great. It's a very, very sweet note. Um, and I enjoy, um, helping you guys and sharing with you guys my art and my process as much as you guys like watching. Um, at least I hope you like watching. Otherwise, what are you doing here? <laughs> um, but I love it very much and I am trying to, um, get some other stuff done for you guys that I can share with you guys. And I'm working on something, uh, and I don't want to say too much about it, but I'm working on it. I've got to get a lot of, it's a business thing, but it might benefit you guys, or you might want to participate. I don't know. I've got, I've got to work. There's a lot of bits and pieces to it, so I'm hoping within the next month to get that figured out and done. And yeah, I got to, when I get back from vacation, hopefully I'm in a, in a better frame of mind. Um, August is just going to be a crazy, busy, stressful month filled with doctor's appointments and, you know, that kind of thing. Because <laughs> it's my birthday month, so why would it not be stressful? <laughs> so I am, but I am working on it, and working on that might help keep me from getting a little too much stressed, but we'll find out. I think, now I think that's really it. <laughs> All right, you guys don't forget, my con contact information is in the description below. If you have any questions... Uh, comments or products you'd like me to review, you can get a hold of me very easily now by looking at that description. Don't forget to go out, have a great day, uh, have a great week, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.